I'm a, I'm a second generation metal sculptor. I first learned how to weld on copper. That's the first material I, I started with and you know just watching the colors and the things I could create out of it always made it um, appealing to me to, to work in that. My dad was a metal sculptor and uh, you know he turned me on to, to that at, at an early age. For now I just love it because with the heat I can create a whole rainbow of colors out of one material. It's all done with heat. Just my torch burning layer after layer uh, on here and then I'll that color will start to come out in the metal. The inspiration from everywhere. You know, being raised in New Mexico, from where I'm at, we have a lot of Native American influences, but we also have you know a lot of Spanish influences. And then, like our in our Santa Fe area, we have a lot of um, uh, real modern uh, type work there as well. So I get it from all angles. My favorite part is whenever I see a customer connect with a piece, you know, that I worked hard on and I wanted it to be special and I see who that new owner is going to be and you can almost tell before they even decided to buy it they have already connected with that piece and I know it's theirs. But in the front side is of course just coming up with the ideas. I mean, I, you know, like I said, I drive my wife nuts because I just constantly coming up with different ideas and concepts. It was in Denver, um, I'm going to say probably early 90s, a, a lady just stood in my booth and, uh, and I, had this, I had this little sculpture. It was a very inexpensive piece. But um, she sat there and she bawled. She looked at it and she just bawled. And I, and I knew that, you know, uh, she wasn't in a position to be able to afford it, but I knew that was her piece. So, you know, she, it, was, it worked out where she could, she could take it. And, um, uh, but yeah, I mean, that, that, that memory stayed with me forever. I kind of hope that it, um, you know, it, it changes their, their environment, it, it, it could take the stress away a bit, gives them some, some little ounce of pleasure. You know, there's enough craziness going on that nice, I'd like for them to, when they come home or go into their office or something, they can capture something that'll go, oh, all right, everything's going to be okay. That would be, that would be a great emotion to evoke. It was here a long time ago, I think about 17 years ago, and I took a break, but Coming back here, it's just the quality of artisans that show up here, the, the quality of patrons, the folks that come here and appreciate the art. And um, well, let's face it, this is a beautiful place to be, you know, a really nice place to be.